when you see it and you remember things that you did with it, and uh, then you see the people that you know you worked with every day, uh, it it brings back a lot. Like I said, it brings back a lot of memories. Nebraska's permanent tribute to Vietnam War veterans and to the troops that never returned home. It's unveiled on the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shammer. I'm Quinesia Fraser. Omaha's news leader has team coverage tonight. KETV Newswatch 7's Jessica Perez shares a welcome home ceremony for some local veterans. But first, Sean McKinnon is live in Papillion at the site of Nebraska's new Vietnam War Memorial. Sean. Bill Quinesia from the Huey helicopter suspended in the air to the Nebraskans who died in war. Their names forever etched in stone. This massive memorial is a testament to those who paid the ultimate price. The a memorial to never forget. The names of the 400 Nebraskans who lost their lives in Vietnam are forever enshrined in Papillion. For the more than 1,000 people who showed up for the opening ceremony, it's a moment decades in the making. After 55 years, you know, and you see this, it's uh, kind of a heart stopper a little bit. Don Davenport and Tom Reinhardt were part of the team that flew this exact Huey helicopter in Vietnam. They saw plenty of action when they went to rescue fellow soldiers. And those guys rely on us, and that's what we want to do is go get them if they need us, and we did. Nebraska is the last state in America to have a memorial solely dedicated to Vietnam. Many say well worth the wait. They always say that, and last but not least, but this has got to be the best. I've seen a lot of memorials around the country. And this is the most outstanding, beautiful one that I've seen. This rivals a lot of the ones in Washington. A Vietnam veteran named Bert sustained a traumatic brain injury in Vietnam when he was 20 years old. He's a memorial donor and came in from Norfolk to see it for himself. You've lived through all of that and more because you're a tough guy. You're a Marine, right? While the memorial will help bring inner peace, it's also a reminder of the pain. It's emotional. I mean, how does a mother lose three of her four children and survive that? And so for a long time, I must say, even in my, my own personal relationship with my brother, he just didn't want to talk about it for many, many years. Our Rob McCartney was the MC of today's grand opening ceremony, and it was a special moment for Rob, too. Rob's father was also a Vietnam vet. Reporting live in Papillion, Sean McKinnon, KETV News Watch 7.